What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tenor and welcome back to the Survival Series server. It is episode 4, or at least the episode 4B, because I, I derped and somehow my audio didn't record for episode 4. Kind of weird. Absolutely weird, because, you know, episode 3 was recorded right before episode 4. I didn't touch any settings. I don't know what's going on. So, all I do know is I've got some fun little clippage for you, and I hope you guys enjoy, and then we will get on to the rest of the episode. So, 3, 2, 1, let's go! As you can tell, this area is 90% complete. Still need to do the walls, or at least this section of the wall. Still need to do the ceilings, but uh, everything is working as expected. And if, oops, let's uh, get that out of my hand. I don't know why they they take damage. That never made sense to me. I need one more. There we go. We come over here and do these guys. So we'll, we'll see all the little babies here in a second. One more. There we go. We'll leave them running for just a second to make sure all the babies come out this way. And we'll wait here for the babies because they actually take a long trip. They go all the way down here, all the way over there, up a tunnel, and then out this chute. There we go. There they all come at once. So that was four of them. There should be more. Maybe that's five. There'll be more coming from the other side. So I'll just kill that off. And voila. It all works. Now, one of the things that I actually didn't talk about, and it's mainly because obviously the song wasn't long enough, uh, is this right over here? So I moved the villagers over here so I could get them bred up. And as you can see, we've got three villagers in here now. 
I had an issue with this where I had six doors, two villagers in here, and I thought they were breeding. They're not going to breed with only six doors. You need nine because you need to get enough to where you have an open space. Now, normally you have six because you only have one guy up here. That means they need another person, which means everyone else wants to breed. But having two kind of ruins that whole deal. And I had three before. This nitwit was number three. If you notice, I had, or if you remember, I should say, I had a white coat librarian. He died. He got, he got suffocated in one of these blocks because... I was moving around, moving them around on minecarts, and somehow he ended up in this block. I was very sad. So I've been waiting for these guys to breed. I had to to take down the village just to get it to work, and make sure that it had ten doors, nine doors, whatever, and it worked. So village worked. I've got three villagers. As soon as the librarian or cartographer grows up then I will get them all moved into their uh, final resting places, as it would be. Still trying to figure out what I'm going to put right here, but it is going to be a villager cage for that nitwit. Uh, and then I will start putting the buildings around. Okay, so I've already started the process for dealing with these villagers. So you can see my wonderful little netherrack set up over here. Uh, let's go over what I've done. So, Senor Nitwit is in here. Let's do that. You can see he's in here. He's got a wonderful torch right there to protect him from the evil elements. And we'll build up something around him. As you can see, I've already got the wooden structure there. Maybe I'll do something fun. Uh, this nether rack thing up here is going to be the height of our town central build thing. Maybe it'll be a fountain. It'll be something. Now, the reason that is up there is that's to protect the villager. He's going to be protected from lightning strikes. And the reason that's important is because lightning strikes turn these guys to witches. And we don't want a witch when we need our village detector to be safe. So, he's always going to make sounds in there. It's going to be annoying as heck, but it's all right. Now, I've already started moving them down. So, if our if our villager detector is right here, then we need to go down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is the lowest that we can have the floor of our new design. So, I've been caving this out, getting ready to move these guys in here so that we can start breeding them because once we get them down here let's take that out uh, once we get them down here then they will be able to breed constantly and that's after of course I put the doors back because the doors are not in here right now so there are no villages but once we build up our buildings around this area we will have our set up and that was very dangerous very very dangerous so yeah as soon as we start to put our buildings up in this area then our village will be built and we will have we only need six doors we might have more than that but we only need six so let's get these guys down here and this guy is going to be easy because he's already right there we just slide him down and voila. Now we'll move him out of the way so we can get the other guy in here. And I did check that guy. He's just a cartographer. Very boring. Very unnecessary. But, you know, it is what it is. Got to deal with what you get. And so be it. Okay. So we're going to move this over as I've determined the center of the area. Make sure I have torches. I have one torch left. Oh, there we go. Some coal to help us out. Thanks, coal. <laughs> Alright, 
so let's make it a little bit more one two three four five we'll go with five for now and we want one two three one two three and one two three four five one two three four uh yeah we'll we'll need to push this back one more that's fine And actually, we'll probably go two more out on each side. So this is going to be our line. We'll go two more out on each side. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so that I have enough room to put all the villagers in. Because this is going to be a breeder. It'll end up going down further than this. But... As of right now, it does not need to. One, two, three, four, okay. So this is five, and then it needs to go out two more. So once we have everything set in place, the villagers will end up going down underneath, and they will just be, they'll be sitting in a layer around here somewhere, probably one lower. I say probably because I haven't decided yet, but they'll sit in one of these holes, say if that's the center line, say right there. They'll sit in a hole with their buddy and food will be passed through the center and around and that way we get everyone the way we need it to and actually I might just make it so that it comes all the way across and then down now I don't know this is this is odd for an odd number design because I've only done this in an even number and I really don't want it to be even <laughs> As, as stupid as that sounds, I don't want this design to be even. Um, it's, it's not super important that it's not, but I would really, really like to have uh, an odd number. And let's make sure I'm going up to the surface at the right place and putting in my trap door, which will be my entranceway. And then we can cover this up. So the villagers, that was that was the end of episode four in the previous clip. Um, but we still have some time left over. And I, I've gone into the nether. I've picked up these wither skulls. I think this is a great time to go ahead and take out a wither. Now, the reason I say that is because we obviously need a beacon. There, there's no way around it. We need a beacon. And I've got an area where I think I can set up. I'm hoping that I do not kill myself. I guess we'll we'll wait and see. But if... I mean, you're, you're going to be here with me, so you'll get to see if I screw up. So it, out that way is where I'm going to put the Wither Killer. Um, I'm coming this way so I can get some Soul Sand real quick. I'm pretty sure I saw some soul sand out this way towards the nether fortresses and there were two of them. Uh, there's one to the left and one to the right and I was using both of them for a little while. We'll probably end up doing a, a wither farm or a wither skeleton farm I should say at some point just just because you know it's always good. Let's see there's Gravel. Ah, here we go. Soul sand. Let's take some of this fun stuff right here. I'm going to take a little more than I actually need to take. Now, this could be the death of me. I hope not. I've got a Smite 4 looting 2 sword. 
So I should be good on that aspect. Let's go set up the, the Wither Killer. All right, so for those of you who don't know what I'm about to do, uh, there is this right here is a three by three section of bedrock. It's a decent setup. So when you spawn in the wither, in fact, let's clear this out a little bit more. There we go. And hope that, you know, we don't die in the process of this. Uh, what you are going to do is you're going to set up your platform where the head or the center is in the center of this this wonderful three by three section so we take our soul sand and place that there and then when you spawn the wither its head should end up in that middle block and it won't kill you now there are plenty of these around which are better which don't have this sorry about that uh, which don't have this little extra uh, block right here, but this is the closest one to me, and I just want to get a beacon. So let's see if I die. Let's see if this works. It looks like it works, because he isn't moving anywhere. Oh, there we go. Yep. And there's our nether star. Beautiful. So I'm going to actually replace this ugly nether rack with probably ugly or granite, but that's okay. Just so I don't accidentally break it later. So now we've got our nether star. We can make a beacon. We can do lots of things with said beacon. But that is going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will catch you all in the next one.